This instructional video will demonstrate the fundamentals of the game of racquetball. On USU's campus, the Health, Physical, Education, and Recreation Building has six courts available to anyone. Welcome to the courts. We are the instructors for this video. Racquetball equipment is fairly simple. You need one racket for each player and one ball. Safety goggles aren't required but are strongly suggested. The racket ball is a small, hollow rubber ball made specifically for this game. Each racket has a safety strap that can be fastened in one of two ways demonstrated in this shot. Felicia has a cinch type, Stormy does not. Instead, she spins the racket to tighten the strap around her wrist. Goggles can come in many different styles. Some have straps around the back of the head while others do not. Ouch, that could have hurt. Good thing she had her goggles on. Some form of non-marking athletic shoes are required. An outfit of athletic attire is suggested, however extreme it may be. This is an overhead view of a racquetball court. The center box is called the service box. The top line is called the short line. The middle one is called the service line. And the last one is called the receiving line. The server, Felicia, stands in the service box with the receiving player, Stormy, standing behind the receiving line. There are two basic types of swings. Here Felicia is demonstrating a forehand, followed by Ryan showing a backhand swing. To serve, you let the ball bounce once and hit the ball towards the front wall. Make sure that it passes the service line, otherwise it's called a fault. There are three types of faults. If the ball is served and hits three walls before it hits the ground, that is also a fault. To score in the game, you can only win a point when you are the one serving. In this case, Felicia missed it. It is now Stormy's turn to serve, but neither player received a point. We have four recommended strategies to help you become a more competitive player. Strategy number one, approach the ball as if you're going to slam the ball. At the last second, stop your swing and let the ball gently hit your racket with just enough force to hit the front wall. Strategy number two, aim your shot so that the ball bounces off two walls quickly so that it comes back at a different angle than expected. Strategy number three, aim as close to the floor as you can without actually hitting the floor. Doing so will make it nearly impossible for your opponent to return it. Strategy number four, if your opponent hits the ball hard enough to bounce from the front wall straight to the back wall and you can't return it forward, hit the ball towards the back wall at an upward angle with enough force to hit the back wall and then the front wall before it hits the ground. The following are examples of bad sportsmanship. Taunting. Extreme anger. Verbally or physically fighting one another. We always encourage good sportsmanship. At the end of the game, thank your opponent with a traditional racket slap.